Hey guys, thanks for checking out my new channel. I'm going to give you a preview of a brand new tent for me. This is the Nemo Osmo three person tent with a footprint. And this is the two person tent with a footprint. These are brand new tents for 2022 and nobody has done a preview of this one. I'm not gonna go through and do a review on it because we won't be using this tent until probably uh, sometime in July when we go uh, canoe camping into Boundary Waters, but I'll be using the two-person on some solo trips a little bit earlier than that. And as you can see in northern Minnesota, we still have snow. We got two feet of ice on the lakes yet. It's end of April, and I'm really itching to get out and do some canoeing, but I'm going to get this tent set up for you, and you can take a look at it. And I can hardly tell which tent is which. The only way I know is to look at the actual label in the tent. That's how light and similar these two are. They're probably both in the same packaging, which could be confusing if you're not careful. Okay, it didn't take too long to set up. Um, I had some troubles with the rain fly. I just had it spun around backwards, but they're color coordinated. Uh, one corner, opposite corners are yellow, the others are gray. And uh, so the first look, my first impressions, this material is extremely lightweight. Well, it's a backpack tent, but this is the lightest weight tent that I have ever owned or I've ever seen in person. I had a little bit of trouble uh, just keeping it on the ground with the light breeze here in the woods here today. So on a windy day, uh, you would need some help or it's gonna be uh, tough, pretty tough to set it up. So I do have the footprint for it. I didn't put the footprint in and I didn't do the guy lines, but it didn't take long to set up at all. And, um, but wow, is this uh, a lightweight tent? I do take dogs with me on trips, so I'm a little bit worried about uh, the nails punching through uh, the tent. Um, that's why I got the, uh, the footprint. And if it becomes an issue uh, with dog nails, what I'll do is I'll just get some sort of tarp to line the inside of the tent first uh, before we get any dogs in there. And the field testing will determine the ultimate durability. Overall, not too bad, I'm just worried about the durability of this tent, so I'll be bringing a uh, patch kit along with me. This is not a review, it's just a first look and first impressions. Um, I will do a full review after I've had some time out canoe camping. So thanks guys for watching and I uh, hope you subscribe and watch my other videos. I'm moving all of my photography based videos to this channel. Um, my other channel is Endurance Kennels, which I'll link it up here, which is just mostly sled dog stuff. And I started doing some photography stuff on there, and I figured it was, uh, you know, a whole different audience. So I'll be moving all the photography stuff over to here and removing those videos from YouTube just slowly. But uh, yeah, hopefully you can follow us on our adventures. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.